All right, welcome back to my shoulder. And the rehab this week is in the four week block of week 17 to 20 post-op. And I'm gonna run through four exercises out of the 10 in set A. Sounds a bit technical, but set B, I'll show you next week. Set A is this week. Now, in this week, I'm doing push-ups on my knees, we're doing pulls, we're doing all sorts of stuff with rows and presses. Especially with band, we're doing chest pressing with band, but there's four tentacle exercises in there that I want to share with you today to show you what's going on and how it helps my shoulder. So the first one I'm doing is in a mobility part and it's sort of halfway between mobility and strengthening, but the band here is a power band. Now this is designed to sort of almost think about distracting or relocating that joint back in the socket. Because I've got a tight capsule at the back of my joint, I find it hard to get back here. So when I raise my arm up, there's a bit of sort of functional impingement going on. So with a band here, one, it keeps my sort of shoulder joint back into that position there. So it allows me a smoother movement going up, okay? So when I raise my arm, I've sort of cranked it forward here. So this band is really pulling my arm back and I'm trying to keep it as high as I can to the shoulder joint, all right? Obviously, you don't want it sitting right on the shoulder because that's not gonna do a thing. You need it off onto that humeral sort of neck, if you like. So when you raise your arm, the line of pull gets to that point is now pulling that whole arm backwards. And then the strengthening part is I can then try and use that resistance, and this is a bit hard, and go as high as I can. Now there's no pain with that, with this one. And it's really nice when people sort of get here and they go, oh, that's a bit sore. This one actually takes some of that pain away. Plus, there's some strengthening, because it's hard for me to raise my arm. So it gives me the strengthening part to do without holding a heavy weight in my hand and making that whole thing a massive long lever. You know, at this stage, I don't want a big long lever doing a front raise, okay? So I can do my front raise, but the strengthening part is I'm working really hard through my delt and through my rotator cuff to get my arm as high as I can. I really like that exercise. It's a really nice one, especially in the start of the set, to start getting things moving and getting things fired up. So that's a really good one. Second thing I start working on, or one of the one of the ten, is doing a lat pull down with a roller. Now this helps you with tabletop. Now I do tabletop in this program, which is this one here, to try and get some range into flexion, some stretching range. But you can also do it on the roller. So this is what I mean. When this one here, what you do is you go into the tabletop position here and here, but you're trying to have your arms, instead of being straight in front of you, you're trying to have your arms out on a little bit of an angle and then get some external rotation with the shoulders. Now this one you do this two at the same time. This one is a lower trap pull down. So instead of rowing with your hands, what you're trying to do is go from an elevated scat position, which is sort of like forward that way, and then depress your shoulder blades using sort of your lower traps, if you like, and a little bit of lat. But I don't want you bending your arms. So it is trying to sort of isolate lower traps more than lat. You just gotta be careful here in your thoracic that you don't push down the roll and try and lift up. So it's not a sort of a, a thoracic extension exercise. It is simply a scapular depression and then to go back to elevation, you roll it forward again. So you're rolling the roller towards you. Now you will elevate a little bit. There's a natural tendency for you to sort of lift up a bit. If you can try and fight that by doing a bit of a pelvic tilt here, turn your core on, turn your glutes on to try and lock at least some of your lower back and your pelvis down. So you've actually got something to pull on as well. So from here, it's into there. You've got something to pull on. You sort of turn your lower back on, turn your core on, turn your glutes on, and then you won't arch your back. And then you can really focus on trying to get lower traps working. And this one is a really good way for those people who are struggling with a bit of lower trap issues in their program or after surgery to work on that. So that's a really nice one to do. So and that's your lower trap pull down. Apart from doing push-ups and doing one arm chest presses with a band, because it's a graduated thing, I also need to teach my body how to accept a kettlebell load overhead in preparation for doing a kettlebell chest press in the next section. So what I get doing is using kettlebell, now this is 12 kilos, I'll probably start out with eight, move to 12, and then by in two weeks time I'll be doing 16s, 20s. So what you want to do is put that 
straight up in there as though you're about to do this is as though you're about to do a chest press but at this load here you're not doing a chest press 16 kilos is too much at this week to try and do a full chest press so what I'm doing externally rotate here and keep my elbow straight and I'm going to do a scat press to the ceiling which is pretty hard it's not hard to the shoulders and sore it's just the load is awkward now when I start off doing this doing this sort of movement especially with the band I had problems with my winging scap so the scapula was hitting the floor so what I mean is the scapula was on an angle because I was winging so when I came down it hit the floor like that and I could really feel it hit the floor so now though because I've been doing all my scap work it's actually flattening out because my serratus is working and that means that when I come down it's actually flattening down and sliding in nicely so it's not butting the floor anymore it's slipping in and that way I can get my full retraction down and it's nice and smooth that feels exactly like the other side I now know that my scapular winging is way better than before and that just takes practice so this movement here is going to get the strengthening for the serratus in a press position it also teaches your rotator cuff and your joint to bear that 16 kilo load overhead all right because you've got to get used to that before you start punching that out next time so just to rotate that again this slide here you're just doing that movement and then slowing it down so you're doing eccentric serratus work slowly hitting the floor retracting and then pushing away again and then coming down okay it's pretty hard but well worth it okay now the last one is doing what I call a one arm skydive behind your back it's sort of a made up name now this one is if I put that there on its side this one here is to get your hand behind your back to above your head in a sort of swinging movement and to get all the little bits of range that you're missing all the nasty things they usually sort of shy away from what I did to start with is all the range I had if I roll that away all the range I had to start with with uh, the first week of doing this all the range I had was basically I was on the floor doing it because I couldn't lift my arm up but now I need a bit of a goal to get over so this is where you could place something here that you know you're gonna have to get over so at this point you start with your hand behind your back now initially you'll start to be very tight you start there lift up and then you're gonna go as high as you can and then you're gonna to get to this point here where you have to abduct and rotate and you go above the goal and then try and go up and you should have another goal there like perhaps this foam roller and you want to get above that goal as well so if I go start that again hand behind my back that's the first goal above stay above rotate above that kettlebell and then try and stay above that roller and then all the way back to there into that position now that works out a bit of control work but it also works out your strength and your control at the ends of the ranges for your shoulder which is so essential in getting that movement correct to help you with all the abduction work so those are your four for that out of the ten in set a in week 17 and 20 that i'm working on some technical stuff but well worth it see you next week for set b